Howdy everyone, it's me once again. The one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about something Disney related. In this case, of course, it's gonna be like one of those behind the scenes documentary type thing, of course. Since I've already reviewed one of these as of recently, I just figured, well, it's not gonna hurt, I guess. As you can see, is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Adventure Awaits. So, yeah, it was made around, you know, the sequel trilogy that Disney was producing, which I've said like a multiple times before, was nowhere near as terrible as the fan base made out to be. But to be more specific, this is more about the theme ride, really, if anything. The theme park, I mean, that's centered around Star Wars. To be more specific, I guess you can say, I guess you can say with some, uh, I guess celebrity, uh, people making like little, little guest appearances here and there. I guess, like the one lady who played Penny from the Big Bang Theory, and uh, a few other individuals. I guess you can say, which is nice. Which is actually was actually pretty cool, of course. This was, of course, uh, a pet premiered on you know, on a. Uh, Quite some, uh, a little while ago, and yeah, it finally was streamed on Disney Plus, of course. Like I said, it goes on the behind the scene kind of a thing be for the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge theme park and uh, of uh, you know Disneyland and whatnot. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool, I suppose. We did uh, I guess to try to make it seem a bit informative and whatnot. So that's basically what this is. Just I look at it. Using attraction based on the Star Wars franchise, I guess you would say, and that's about it, well. So, trying to get to have some people having fun, the people who would, of course, you know, get into this kind of a thing, and whatnot. Having the celebrities in interact, you know, this kind of thing. You get the guest stars uh, throughout in this entire thing, of course. But yeah, basically, bottom line is that these individuals for hang around with this theme park and we we'll see people's reaction to the fun that they had So really trying to make this like really interactive this type of thing and of course we do get some of the actors who played in the Star Wars sequel trilogy and they weren't here for a bit yeah for a little bit and they would you know discuss what they had to do behind the scenes for this kind of thing while simultaneously working on those three films oh boy that must have been you know Stressful, of course. Yeah, there's new rides and there's some stores, of course. There's plenty of stores. Well, it's Disney, so of course. But yeah, of course, that's pretty cool, of course. You know, you know say in this one, folks, and whatnot. And yeah, this kind of a thing is fine by me, of course. It's not quite as good as the other one I reviewed. But when it comes to the Empire of Dream. Uh, th yeah, that's the one I reviewed previously when they were talking about the original trilogy. This documentary was not as good as that one. And no, no, before anyone says anything, before anyone gets ahead of themselves, it's not, this is not my way of taking a stab at the sequel trilogy. The sequel trilogy is actually quite good. I know a lot of fans, didn't, I know a lot of fans hated it, but I thought it was actually quite good. Rather, I'd rather controversial opinion, but I really don't care. But anyway, yeah, but for what it's worth, Yes, yeah, okay, it's a bit cringy. I was I admit that it's really cringy, I guess you can say. But, you know, for for what it's worth, it's not terrible. It's pretty much what you may expect. Once you see the title, yeah, that's all you're gonna get here, folks. So it doesn't try to be anything else really. And yeah, just accept it for that I guess. Even though it pretty much came up like a like an long a long ad for the theme park, if anything. That's basically what this is. It came out like, like a long, long ad. For the, for the thing, I guess they gotta advertise it somehow, I guess. But, yeah, anyway. But, yeah. So, you get the Stormtroopers and Kyra Ren, or at least somebody's, you know, acting that came in a way, interacting with the guests, which I actually thought was pretty cool. So, that's what happened with Elvis and I, you know, when we went to Disneyland uh, a while back. They, they interacted with us like that. So, yeah, that basically rung a bell. So I just thought it was actually pretty cool in a little way. So all in all, I put a good 
thing, I guess you can say. Yes, of course, tickets are extremely expensive. And during the whole pandemic and whatnot, yes, it's a, pretty much a pain, of course, to get into now, obviously. But hey, it's all good, folks. It's all good. Once you can actually get into it somehow, it's definitely worth it. Alpha, again, Alphas and I will actually, actually went into this, so we actually had a first-hand experience when it comes to this theme park, so we thought it was pretty cool. And this... Yeah, this documentary really showed a lot of, uh, made us remember quite a bit of what we did. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And I liked it. This is pretty much, um, having a little joy, of course. You see some people crying of joy. People being really happy and whatnot, going to have, going to this kind of a thing and having their own experience. And you get to some, you get to see some interviews, of course, obviously. And the people who get interviewed in this kind of a thing would explain that they experienced Star Wars when they were much younger, and they can't believe that they were working in Disney uh, and this kind of thing. Of course, they were they watched lots of Disney films as they were growing up, so they're doing two things: doing something for Star Wars and doing something for Disney. So, of course, it's something that we never thought they would have could, ever do, like in a million years. Like, it's a big old surprise that they would do. You know, hip hip hooray for them, I guess you would say. But all right, all right, all in all, a pretty decent uh, documentary, I guess. Could have been better, yes, but it's not terrible. I'll give this an overall rating of a 6.5 out of 10. It's a 6.5 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later.